Wade trying to find an opening. Banks it in. His team's still down by 11. The kid throws it ahead to Terry. And Terry left. There's the lead cut to 11. Posey from downtown. Back within seven. Barry in the drive. Flips it up. Banks it in. And it's a seven-point game. Wade on the drive. Inside. Banks it in. What a move. Three-point game. Novitski puts it up. Puts it in. Two-point game. Wade. It's good. One-point game. Back to Novitski. Lefty layup. Banks it in. And the game is tied. Hayden shot. It's good. And the Heat back up by two. To Novitski. Puts up the three. Puts it in. Dallas goes up by three. Chance to tie. This is the free throw. Chalmers knocks down the three and ties the game. Knocked away. And the Heat survives. Novitski. Drives with the deep lefty layup, banks it in. One of the most incredible comebacks in NBA Finals history. The same team battling each other five years apart. Back in 2006, that game three was the turning point of the finals. Will game two in Miami be the turning point of this series? Well, we'll have to wait and find out starting tonight. Back as they get the next three games of the finals here. Bibby wide open. And Mike Bibby has found the range. Hit four three-pointers in game two after really struggling and gets the first points of the night. You sound great in 06, but you sound so much better in 2011. My voice got deeper. Shot clock down to five. Good defense from Stevenson. Wade again by himself flips it up. Oh, and he puts it in. Oh, such difficult shots from Wade as the shot clock expired. But some of those shots coming down the stretch against good defense, he stopped and took a three. So did LeBron James. In this case, he kept putting his head down and got all the way to the rim. Good ball movement. Sean Marion completes it. Couldn't finish. Bosch has been really struggling shooting the ball. Finds way back door. Good pass that time from Bosch. Bibby's already got one. Not that time. Joel Anthony. Nice feet inside to Bosch. Second shot opportunities for the Miami Heat. Same problems for the Dallas Mavericks. They got to finish the last line of defense, which is securing the basketball. You got to get the rebound. Right now, they're getting pummeled on the offensive boards by the Heat. Yeah, and Dallas is up, but Miami's winning because everything's in the paint right now. The aggressiveness is going Miami's way. Marion, he's in the paint, flips it up over. Shot a quick, smart play with Joel Anthony, a good shot blocker lurking. And Sean Marion continues to play exceptional basketball, especially over the last five games. Stojakovic on Bosch, goes right past him, count it, and a foul. And Bosch with a chance for a three-point play. And I believe the foul is going to go against Chandler. He won everything else that year. James on the drive. Hop step goes right at Chandler and gets it to go. Good power move from James. The Heat continue to attack the basket. Their teammates have played excellent defense. James this time drives and finishes. Throws it down. <laughs> We're talking about the good defense. Bohemia is down with the king. My <laughs> goodness. But I'm going to tell you what. That defense before he elevated was as bad as you could do. Marion blow by. Haslam. Back to Chalmers, puts it up at the buzzer. Oh, he puts it in! Chalmers nails it and got it off in time. The play was for LeBron James. That was defended well. And Haslam making the right decision to get it to Chalmers. Nice anticipation from Mike Miller. Five turnovers for Dallas. James again on the drive. Chalmers sets for three. Knocks it down. Chalmers, a couple of three-pointers. And the Heat have hit three from downtown. A ten. Perry throws it up. Novitski backing in, double team. Oh, pretty fake from Novitski once again, taking his time. Been very aggressive. Hey, trying to go in, ball poked away. Two on one. Terry back to Novitski. Miller with a foul, counted and one. A two-on-one break leading to perhaps a three-point play for the Mavericks. More involved offensively. Wade once again in the paint. Novitski 
Here comes a double team. Excellent help from Miller. Comes up with a steal ahead to Wade. And Wade throws it down. Turnovers once again hurting Dallas. Terry to Kidd. Inside Terry not expecting the pass, but backs it in nicely. Good extra look from Jason Kidd for his fourth assist. Dallas Mavericks looking to fall back in the zone, trying to contain the penetration of the Miami Heat. Wade, a jumper, hits a three. Wade right now, he is lighting it up here. With a Terry the fake leans in, blocked by Wade. Wade comes up with the ball, Terry in pursuit. Wade to finish. But you see, making him go left, Wade can recover to his shooting hand and impact Terry's shot. If he got to his right, he would have still been able to get off a clean look. Wade has been superb here in this first half. Short, but gets his own rebound. Back out to Vitsky, wide open for three. That's good. Vitsky with a much needed three pointer for the Mavericks. He's got 10 points in the first half. 13 from the field. T-Mobile halftime report coming up with Stuart Magic John and Michael. They'll analyze the first half and then the story of Mike Miller and his family's playoff journey. Game three of the 2011 NBA Finals. They split the first two in Miami. Now here for the next three in Dallas. Dirk Nowitzki looking for his first championship. Wade trying for his second. Halftime. It's the Heat 47, the Mavericks 42. Bosch gets that one to go. Yeah, he needed that one for some confidence. Hardly seen that. Such a difficult shot to block. Very impressive. Runs down the floor and banks it in. Noel Anthony at both ends of the floor. Inside they go to Bosch. Fumbled it. Still got it to go up and in. And Rick Carlisle needs a timeout as Miami comes out with six straight points. And this part of the ball. That's no foul on Johnny. Wade comes out with a steal. Wade at both ends has been a terror. And James with the finish. Once again, the turnovers leading to dunks down the other end. Eight straight points to begin the third. You couldn't have started better if you're Miami or worse if you're Dallas. This is just very poor basketball by Dallas right now. See Berea in the game. Levitsky shot there, gets it to go. Oh, that is out. Levitsky to Kidd. Kidd for three. Lead cut to seven, timeout Miami. Dallas answers with a 6-0 run of their own. Off the side of the rim, Levitsky to rebound. Dallas has turned it around nicely after that initial hit from the Heat to start the third. Levitsky, another three. Straight points and it's back to four. And a poor job by Chris Bosch allowing Dirk Nowitzki to catch and shoot rhythm. He got a push up, close the airspace, and force him to be a driver. He's a proven knockdown shoot. Even from three point range, Wade once again gets to the basket. Way short, rebound, foot for still loose stack, but it picks it up. Kid ahead to Terry. Terry the jump shot and gets the bounce. The Mavericks have regained the lead. And it hurt them at the end of game three. Terry releases, but Miami's not getting all the way back. They're allowing these advanced passes to score. And Eric Spolsch is telling his guys, you got to get back on the defensive end. Too many easy opportunities. A 17-3 run. Shot clock down to five. James fires a three. That's good. Uh, James answers. That's his first three-pointer. And shots that you're left with. LeBron James had no choice there but to take the three. Chalmers steps up for three. Chalmers back-to-back -back three pointers. And Miami right back up by five. And Mario Chalmers continues to have an excellent NBA Finals. How do you see James? Kid, the fake, kicks it out. Terry wide open for three. Another assist for Jason Kidd on a little head fake. Continuing to make plays. Three. Chalmers the drive. Nice feed to Haslam. Almost blocked from behind. Ariel Chalmers, another strong play. Two run and briefly took the lead. And as we head to the fourth quarter, the Heat by three. This presentation of the NBA Finals continues after this message and a word from our ABC stations.
Aileron Terry fighting under the screen. Berea, a three. That's good. J.J. Berea brings the Mavs back within two. Spin. Chalmers in pursuit. Nowitzki, a good look for three. Knocks it down. Dirk Nowitzki again. His third three-pointer, and it ties the game. But again, we're witnessing the Miami Heat having trouble defending the pick and roll and losing the body of Dirk Nowitzki. That's quality offense and bad defense. That's inside and the finish. Gorgeous speed from James. And Bosch slams it down. Bosch with 14. Off the dribble to be able to throw that thing with one hand. Correa again. Shot clock at seven. Correa spins, flips it up, and gets the bounce. J.J. Barea, his second field goal. So many pick and rolls in one possession. Well defended until Chalmers tried to take the charge, and Barea got free. Bosch. And Bosch rattles it in. Bosch to James. Out to Chalmers. That's a three. Mario Chalmers with a big bucket again. His fourth three-pointer of the game. And Miami go up by seven with 7.18 remaining. Chalmers, 12 points, same as he had in game one. Kid right back to Terry. Levitsky calling for the ball. Levitsky on the drive. And gets the layup to go. Bosch tried to draw the charge. They let her play and Dirk. Shot clock at seven. At four, Wade. It's good. Three pointer for Wade. And the Heat's lead back up to six. That's a tough shot by Dwayne Wade, but if you're Jason Kidd. In transition, I'm rewarded for great right. defense. It's almost penalizing the excellent defensive sequence there. Novinsky back to. Nowitzki, the last 10 Maverick points. And a great feed from Jason Kidd. Wade on the pull-up. Puts it in. Wayne Wade answers back, and the Heat go back up by two. I think if you're the Dallas Mavericks, you got to get the ball out of the hands of Dwayne Wade and force somebody else, even if it's LeBron James. Wayne Wade has the ability to beat you from the perimeter. I agree with you. You have a chance to trap in the pick and roll. Do not leave that trap until he picks up his dribble and or passes it. Terry nearly traveled. Nowitzki five on the clock. Nowitzki head fake falling away. It's good. Dirk Nowitzki knocks it down again. 12 straight points for Nowitzki. Wade has the last set. And double. And make that ball go to the weak side. Marion doubles. They switch on. LeBron James, Bosch, the open jumper. Puts it in. Chris Bosch, a clutch basket there. And Miami back up by two as Dallas calls timeout. Well, Marky hesitated last time, not that time. Absolutely. That's the difference. Coach ready to shoot that shot for plenty of time to get a quality one so you can secure another possession. Nowitzki spins against Haslam. Kicks it out, throws it out of bounds. The double team confused Nowitzki and he threw it away. Bosch. Shot clock at six. Wade on the drive. Kicks it out. James takes. James, that's a two-pointer. In and out. Oh, good. Levitsky the rebound. And Dallas calls timeout. With 4.4 remaining, Aslan is on Levitsky. But you could expect a double team on him. And remember, last game, Bosch was on Novitsky on the last play. Get to inbound. Chalmers trying to distract. They're out of timeouts. So they have to get it in. Up to Nowitzki. Haslam on him. Nowitzki spins. Head fake. Falling away. Shot won't go. And Miami holds on and takes game three. Nowitzki was defended well. Still got off a quality shot. But this one wouldn't go down. And Miami comes back and wins again on the road. A two-point victory. And they lead the finals two games to one. And this place has gone silent. And you see the play here, getting the ball to Dirk Nowitzki, pretty much an isolation for him. This is a very makeable shot. Good defense by Haslam without fouling. But that's a shot that Dirk Nowitzki we've seen time and time again knock down.